Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, just about a year ago, when I passed 5,000 gallery downloads, I built this little 5,000 simoleon starter. I wasn't super comfortable with ponds yet, so this is actually from Debug. And here's a quick look at the inside, totally functional. And then when I hit 10,000 downloads, I did this little 10,000 simoleon converted guard tower cottage. It's definitely not the most interesting build ever, but I was really proud of this kitchen. Not because it's, it's like super fantastic or anything, but because it works. The kitchen is totally functional and the stairs are totally functional. And as you've probably figured out, today we're going to be trying to build a nice little starter home for 15,000. Which I know is totally possible because this one is a four bedroom and it's just under 18,000. So I've been trying to think of what I can do with 15,000 that's going to make it like the same level of challenge as the five and 10,000 ones. And I definitely want to do at least two bedrooms. But I think my main goal is I want it to look expensive. Like I want this one to be a surprise that it's only 15,000. So my quote unquote rules for this little challenge I've made for myself is basically base game only, um, but I can use debug, and then obviously I have to stay within budget. I doubt I'm going to be able to do two levels, but I'm going to see where we get with this. I find that this tends to lag behind a bit, plus it includes the lot value and I just go based off the house value, so to check the price it'll be popping in here every once in a while, so right now with just the walls we're at 3700 which is kind of a lot. I'd really like to have a pool, so I'm going to see if I can get away with that. And I think cutting out some sort of design over the pool would be really cool. We'll start with that, see where we go. Alright, now I said two bedrooms. Let's see what we can do with a floor plan here, and then we'll check the price again. Curved walls are tricky. It'd really be best if I could put a kitchen here and dining room here, because that would fit really well. Which means we'll have the entry here, which could just be a hall. It's fine. We can do a full bath right there. And two bedrooms. I'm going to start with white and place some windows and doors. This one is 465. Which is kind of a lot, but we might be able to get away with it. Because I really like how that looks as an entry. Oof. Okay, so we are already creeping up to 10,000. Might have to cut back, but let's see how far we can get. Naturally, the doors I want to use inside are $300, so we will not be doing that. I guess we'll start with these. You know what I didn't consider? A living room. Alright, we're creeping up, but I also want to make this look as fully furnished and, like, nice as possible. We'll just start with the bathroom real quick. Nothing special, but I don't care. Next, let's work on the kitchen. We should do just fine with these counter pieces because we can add the cheap stove and fridge, and a sink. Trash can, of course. Actually, we need an outdoor trash can anyway, so if we put that just outside the door here, there, now we don't even need a trash can in the kitchen. I'm going to start with four dining chairs, but I will remove a couple if they are too expensive. Then we may be able to actually get a little bit of a living room here. Couch and a coffee table. This is looking very white. But let's see how we do on money before we start adding color. In the main bedroom, we will need a bed, and my goal is always to not use the cheapest bed. Alright, the kid's dresser is 250 but we can get a dollhouse for 170 And since we have a dresser over here, I think we'll let it slide. Financially, we are over budget, so it's time to rethink some things. And we are over budget by a lot. How much is this pool? Oh wow. Rats. Okay, well, hey, you know what? Let's do a fake pool. So for a fake pool, what I'm going to do is draw out a little rectangle. Like that. Lower the terrain, flatten it up against the sides. And I should be able to add water. Just like that changing up my foundation and adding some concrete down below makes it look like a pool. It's not a pool. Honestly, I don't even know if this is usable, but it looks like a pool and we are going strictly for appearances today. But that has saved us a few thousand dollars, so we can actually add some 
interesting things inside. I'm going to start by basically picking an accent color for this house, um, which will be blue, and I'll add a little bit of interest to the floor. Now if I want to add blue here, I basically have to extend it as a whole stripe, which honestly I'm fine with. This is all an experiment. I may delete this before your very eyes. The purpose is simply to begin introducing some color so I can bring it in elsewhere. Uh, not in these cabinets though, but we can bring it in with some paint. This will help define the space a bit. We could even put a bookshelf over here. Maybe even a plant. Hmm, that looks pretty underwhelming by itself. When in doubt, make it a group of three. Are they the prettiest plants ever? No, but I'm not using the kit, so... We may be able to upgrade some of this dining set as well. And it would be nice to have the kitchen itself a little more decorated as well. I'm trying to stay in my minimalist color scheme of gray, white, and blue. It makes decorating easier for me if I just pick a couple of colors. It's not something that I'm super great at, but I'm working on it. There, that brings a little bit more life into the kitchen, which is nice. A nice tile would sort of be the icing on the cake, but I don't think I'm gonna get one today. We might find some nice art for this wall though. Honestly, when in doubt, I do this. I grab these little leaf things, I scale one up, I place the other two in some sort of geometric alignment and call it a day. It's not super exciting, but it puts something on the wall and it's cheap. I know I was super excited about both of these windows here, but I'm wondering if there'd be some way to make a little entry table. I guess we could put one here. I could push it into the wall a touch to make it look a little smaller, and then by adding a mirror and a little bit of clutter, don't worry, I'll play test. It looks kind of like an entryway. We are cutting pretty close to our budget, so maybe I shouldn't have done that before I finished off the bedrooms. Let's make a rug. If I move the bed out of the way and turn on the grid, we can actually make a rug out of carpet pieces, basically. I'll start by laying some non-carpeted floor to make it stand out a little bit more. And then I have to decide on the general shape I want my rug to be. I think I'll start with a square. I can make some sort of pattern, add some extra colors if I want. Then when I put the bed back, it just looks like a rug, but it's cheap because it's $4 um, a square or one simoleon per little triangle bit little triangle piece. I'm going to make the walls a little darker in here and as much as I would like to keep some sort of television, that's $500 we could put towards something else. I would also like to make this kids room a little more interesting. We can start by adding a side table, a couple of toys, maybe some more color on the wall, and perhaps a rug in here as well. Technically a square rug wouldn't fit here because if it was actually a rug the last corner would stick out on this side. But because it's carpet, it doesn't matter. I think the last place to furnish is this little patio area here. We have about 400 simoleons left, so I think a couple of planter boxes and a couple of chairs for spying on the neighbors should... Oh rats, now we're over budget again. Alright, so I've got rid of these plants and put a plant here instead. And then with this light, that brings our total to 15,000 simoleons exactly. Wasn't expecting to hit it exactly, but we also still have to landscape. I'm going to start by moving the lot to be more centered. All right, if I get rid of this, I should be able to, all right, under budget again, and I'll just use terrain paint down there instead. So like I was saying, landscaping, I'm going to be using pretty much exclusively debug. The majority of this is free. There are a few things that cost a few simoleons, but overall it's free, which is what we want. I'm going to start with placing a few trees along the side here. The main thing to keep in mind if you're going to use debug for landscaping is some of the swatches, even though the items look the same, are a little bit different. They tend to be a little bit more dull in color, and if you find something you like, you want to place as much of it as you can because you can't just like eyedropper it and go get it again. So like I'm going to use these guys in my landscaping. And I want to make sure that I grab as many of them as I think I need. This is also where you can find cars, not to drive, but just to like pretend you have a garage or something. You also can't hold shift to, play mul to place multiple of an item. Usually you can hold shift and place a whole bunch of something, um, but with debug you cannot. I don't know if you can hear him in the background or not, but the bean is currently reading Pete the Cat. So if you hear a bunch of colors and weird sounds, that's what's going on. We are big fans of Pete the Cat in this house. 
Alright, so there's some base landscaping down. I don't know that I'll do a ton back here. Just, I don't have the money for any furniture. Might add another tree, but that's going to be about it. I don't remember seeing these sculptures before, but I really like them. I might have to go back and get more plants, but we'll see. So there are some rocks in Debug. Most of them you have to pay for, which is kind of a bummer. But they are significantly cheaper than the rocks in like the normal gardening menu. So it can still save you a lot of money. So we'll see how many I can get away with adding here. Before I decide if I want more landscaping, I'm going to put down a round of terrain paint. If you don't already put terrain paint under your landscaping and foundations, I can't recommend it enough. It took me a while to feel like brave enough to do it because I was afraid I was going to mess up. Uh, but there's an eraser right here and it really adds a lot to your build. That little bit of brown under everything can help it stand out against the green, especially, you know, since landscaping is mostly green. Due to the nature of the terrain tool, I don't think I can get rid of these darker patches here, but the terrain paint will help that blend in, I guess. And then down here, I'm going to add some gravel, as well as to the path up front. We stayed under 15,000, even with the rocks. And you know, when I say this is like my best build ever, no. Is this a challenge to see if I can build a 15,000 simoleon house that doesn't look like it costs 15,000? Yes. So here are a couple of quick shots of the outside. Inside is totally functional. You can cook in this kitchen just fine. We've got the four seats here. The living room is a little sad, I will admit, but we do have a bookshelf, which is something. Full bathroom and two bedrooms. We have toys over here. So let me know what you think. And have you built anything better for less? I would, I'd like to see it. I know that budget builds like this are some people's absolute cup of tea and other people's worst nightmare. So which one are you? I'm sure you all saw this little missing piece here. So don't worry, I'm going to fix it. And we'll put it up on the gallery as 15K uh, two bed modern starter. And before I upload it completely, I will make sure that that coat rack isn't blocking anything. Thanks for hanging out with us today on our weird little building adventure. Are there any builds or challenges you guys would like to see over the next few weeks? I have a few in mind, but I'd of course love to hear from you as well. If you have any crazy cheap builds on the gallery that you'd like me to see, let me know in the comments below. And as always, you can also contact me on Instagram and TikTok. I have to go read Pete the Cat, so I will bid you all a wonderful weekend, and I hope to see you all back here very, very soon. Bye!